And what's the price? Eleven dollars. <laughs> it's eleven dollars. All right, so, hi. I wanted to do a video today on, as you can tell by the subject, my top spring slash summer picks for up to $100. Now, every now and again, I like to do these videos because I just think they're so helpful. It really shows you that you can find anything really good at a, an affordable price point. So, that is what I've always believed in. I personally am a lover of shopping all different price points. As you know, I will shop vintage and thrift all the way up to Bergdorf Goodman, flipping Hermes. I, I will run the gamut. I am very magpie-ish on the way I shop. And I love that. I, I find a lot of joy just mixing different price points. But this video is about up to $100. So yeah, sit back get some ideas. I found some really, really good pieces. Um, one of them I'm actually thinking about getting myself. So by the time this video is live, I may have already ordered it. I don't know. But anyway, let's get stuck in with the first one. <laughs> All right. So first up is this bag. I'll show you everything right here next to me. Is this bag from Mango. It is so Bottega revived. It's not even funny. I feel like this is the high street trying to do a nod without ripping it off completely. But you can see the inspiration because here is the Bottega version, right? Which I think is stunning, all leather, really gorgeous, buttery soft. I have tried it on in person, leather. Um, and then you've got this version by Mango. This comes in at $79.99. It comes in two colors. I love the oversized, slouchy, hobo look of it. it to me, it looks like one of those squishy kind of bags that you could just throw everything in and just walk out the door. I can also see it even on a beach or a kind of like holiday, vacation -y kind of trip. Even if you're going away for the weekend within your own city, within your own town, within your own country, domestic, I can see you taking this with you. But I still think it's good enough that you could also use it just to run errands. But like I said, because it's got that signature knot, the wide handle and that gorgeous sack look shape to it, that crescent shape, this is bang on. And especially for that price point, I think it's a really, really good option to take. Everything will be listed in the description box, but I thought it'd be good to start off with this particular bag because it just, just looking at the shape of it is gorgeous. Anyway, so yeah, loved that one. Okay, so next up are the Nartilla sandals by Dr. Martins. They are so good, these sandals. I own these sandals, as a lot of you already know, and they are probably one of the best sandals, budget-wise sort of sandals that I came across. I'm saying sort of, but they are $100. So not like $30, but then there's not many sandals out there for $30 that's gonna last you a long time. And these do. I got these, if it wasn't last summer, it was a summer before that. And so many of you have told me that you too have got them. They are up there with the Converse high hikes in terms of comfort and that feeling of, oh my God, I'm so glad I got these. They lace up, they are not heavy, they are super lightweight because they actually look, don't they look heavy? I think they do anyway, especially when you think of Dr. Martens, you just think weight, very heavy. These aren't, they're very much the opposite. And like I said, I own them. And I will tell you now that they are stupidly comfortable. That's how comfortable they are. Um, I've worn them a lot, so I'm not gonna come in too close, but this is just so you can at least see what they look like in person. You've got that signature yellow stitch, that kind of like jagged sole to them. They have great grip, so it's not like a smooth bottom to them. And yeah, very, very simple. And then you just have your foot in here and it looks so pretty. And this just laces up the leg, just crisscrosses up your leg. And it's so nice. I'll show you pictures of me wearing them. I have worn these to death. I love these so, so much. And they stay up. When you lace them, they stay, which is another good thing, because I always wonder about lace-ups. Do they stay up? But like I said, a bunch of you send me messages on Instagram to say that you also have them and you're so glad you got them because they are so comfortable. And I, 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 
that's why I have them is because they are so definitely worth it these come in at hundred dollars so it's right there <laughs> right at the top of the uh, inclusion for this video um, they also come in white as well and I also have seen them in another texture all the versions that I've seen I will list them below for you in, in the description box by the way speaking of description boxes if you are looking at my video right now on a mobile on your cell phone hello <laughs> so you're looking at a small version there is a way where you can access the description box whilst you're on your phone now I know some of you have told me because I've done this before in another video and you said it was so helpful I'm going to show you guys here again in case some of you didn't see that video if you're looking at the mobile this is how you access the description box I'm going to show you on the side here you will see on the lower right side a down arrow it's like it's shaped like it's like a V it's shaped like a, a V that's pointing down you click that V it switches to an X and then just scroll it shows you all the links underneath the video okay so I'll do it again so you can see you see that V pointing down click that right and it switches to an X and it'll expand the menu and it will show you all the links that's underneath the video whilst you're watching me on the mobile you're welcome all right, yeah, so this, hands down, the best. I love it so much. I've even considered getting it in white, but I haven't. But I've come so close, oh God, I've come so close. But anyway, they're great. Highly recommend, so worth it, I have them. Next up is this duster coat, and it is by a brand called Mangishi. I've never heard of them before, and it is gorgeous. Look at that kimono-esque vibe of it, the color of it, the wide sleeves of it. That's so flattering, especially if you don't like your arms, but it's covering that part and it just like opens out, it's wide here, so it makes your arms look even slimmer in comparison. And the length of it as well, I love that it's really long for the drama and it looks like it's got some structure and it's on sale. <laughs> Let me just get to the point. It is originally, I think it's originally 189 and it's now 84 dollars i thought this was so nice the colors of it is perfect i love the way it's styled here this is exactly how i'd wear it by the way just with a pair of jeans or denim shorts and then like a tank and then you put this on top perfect and you're out the door with a pair of like slides it could be like closed toe flats or a pair of open toe sandals it doesn't really matter <laughs> it's just the fact that it's just such a cool piece and I thought, it does not look $84, in my opinion. This looks like it costs way more. It looks like the price that it originally was. That's what I'm trying to say. But I thought this was a really nice piece. And you could see this easily into autumn. Like, when it's like pre-fall slash fall, I would, you know how, oh yeah. I would rock this with skinny jeans. Yes, I did say skinny jeans. Or if not skinny jeans, then I'd wear leggings. And I'd wear a pair of tall, knee-high leather boots with it and I'd put this over with um, a polar neck or even like a slouchy knit because it's obviously like oversized and big enough. <sighs> I love it! I'm giving you ideas on how to style these things, aren't I? Anyway, so I thought that was great. So yeah, great one. All right, next. All right, so for the next one, I'm going to recommend this bag that I saw and I put it in because for anyone who doesn't have or doesn't want to buy designer, of anything this is the Bottega Jody the mini size I saw this one on Shein actually one of you guys DM'd me on Instagram and you showed it to me and I thought it was great I had to put it in it's the color that I would have got if I hadn't got the green I would have got this white one here it is um, this is the Jody version Bot the Bottega one so you can see first for reference in the white and then this is the one from Shein What's the price? $11. It's $11. Okay, it is, I wouldn't even say it's inspired by it. I feel like it's just a copy. They're trying to make it a copy of it. But like I said, for anybody who wants that look without that price tag, I don't think you can beat $11. I really don't. And actually speaking of the same Bottega, I just thought of it now. You know the shoes that uh, the square-toed ones, the mules, heels with the lattice right across the foot. I will show you those here by the same brand. I saw Amazon had such a good dupe of it. And I'm going to show it to you here. 
And the reason I'm going to show it to you is because I read the reviews and everyone is glowing. Every customer who got these in the Amazon review section, when you scroll down, they all are giving it like five stars. They're great. I usually wear Christian Louboutin and this, that and the other. And these are so comfortable and they're so comparable in terms of the look and the comfort and the cut of them. They come in as so many different colors. Like I think they come in about seven colors. I had to put these in and I believe these are under a hundred dollars. I do not have them on the monitor in front of me, but I remember seeing them like four days ago from the time of making this video. So I had to put them in. I thought they were great. They even come in the most neutral colors, the tan, the white and the black. I'm just saying, if you've ever liked those as well, this is your option to get them as well. Cause I thought this had to be put in. There you go. All right, next one. <laughs> Oh, I love these. These are so good. Yeah, these are from Mango. There's two pairs of shoes on Mango's site right now. Sandals, I think, are really worth it. And they're both under 100. First is, or are, rather, these platform strap sandals. Now, these remind me of, I have a pair of chunky, um, they look like tethers, but on steroids. They're much more chunky. Hopefully, if I can find a picture, I'll just show you on the screen. I love them and I wore them to death last year and I am still reaching for them when I just want to run out the door and I don't want to wear anything too precious. I just want to just put something on there. There they are. They're like my equivalent of a of an everyday flip-flop, these particular chunky Teva shoes and they're still very cool and they still look really, in my opinion, I think they still look really, really good. So these I thought were great. The cut of them looks amazing. The strap is nice and wide. The sole is nice and chunky just the way you want. These kind of things make your foot look smaller. I don't care. I just think they do. The proportions are just, they just got it right. The cut is just right. The way it's styled is perfectly. Oversized blazer. Just, I'd even wear it with what I'm wearing right now. That particular sandal, I put it on with this skirt and this crop top and this blazer. Why not? Anyway, so yeah, I had to include those because I thought they were great by Mango. And the second pair from Mango are the, I call them the Chanel Dad knockoff sandals. It's a legit category now, I feel like, in the sandal world. X out Chanel, but just the sandal itself, the double Velcro, oversized, kind of chunky shoe. If you hate these kind of shoes, just speed past this part, obviously. But if you're into it and you want to find a good version that looks just simple, but works with a minimalist type of woman, then I think this would be a good one for you if you're looking for that budget option. Um, great, they have it in denim. They also have it in this black. I'm not sure if it's leather or not, but it comes in black as well as the denim version. And again, really worth putting in, up to $100. So yeah, good one. Okay, another one is actually something that I own, but I had to throw it in because I think, I think it's at $79, which I think that is the price of it. I just thought it was so, it was so worth including. It is the Muscle Tank by The Frankie Shop. I got mine, if it wasn't last year, it was the year before, but I think it was last year. And I'm wearing it just as much this summer as I was last summer. And the fact that I am doing that means that this is now an item that I'm reaching for time and time again. I own it in white, I own it in black, and I wear them both equally, and I love them both equally. The cut on this is fantastic. It's a lot of money, relatively speaking, for what it is. It's a tank and it's in cotton. What else? That doesn't justify, I think the $79 here on the screen, but what does, in my opinion, is the cut. It fits so nicely on and it has such a well, it's hard to explain unless you try on. The cut is really nice on your shoulder when you have it. That's why I still keep wearing them over and over and they're so versatile. They look so good, like with a pair of like, just wide leg jeans with a pair of like skinnier silhouette with my cargo pants that I love to wear. They look good with like a, a denim skirt with a shorts, denim shorts, shorts in general, paper bag weight shorts. They look good in so many different ways. Like I said, I've got them in black and I've got it in white. Again, it doesn't look like anything here, does it? It really doesn't. Um, I will say that I would tell you to size down. I got this in a, I believe this is a me, Oh, it's a small. Oh, wow. I got this in a small and it still is, in my opinion, a bit too big for me. So it's, it runs big. I am usually a UK 
oh, 12 generally speaking like my whole body up and down but for my I'm smaller up top so I would normally go down to like a UK 10 or a US 6 in tops I got this in a size S which is a small and it actually feels a little on the big side I get I can get away with it it's fine right look at that when it's tucked in it looks so good when it's tucked in anyway for me I will say that I think if I was to get another color in it because I do have an olive and, a neutral, and this other neutral which I really like I think I would probably get the XS in it and just because this is really oversized on me my because my upper half is smaller like I said so bear that in mind if you was to get this particular tank size down they come out with loads of these now they're everywhere every price point and I could have included them in this video because they're less expensive than the Frankie shot one but to me this one is still the best one. It's the thickest material, so it feels weighty and it has the quality to it. And the way they cut the shoulder pads, the padding for it is much thicker. It's like two or three times the thickness of the copy versions I've seen of it. So those things combined, it just makes it so much better and it just hangs better on your body. So it's why I just got a white and as soon as I got it home and I tried it on, I ordered the black because the quality was there. Okay, there is one more shoe that I saw on the Mango site. Now, I promise you, this video is not sponsored by Mango. But they have, so there's three shoes, shoes in total that I've seen on the Mango site that I really liked, um, as well as that one bag that looks kind of bottega -y. And it is this sneaker here. It reminds me of two high-end sneakers. And even outside, it reminded me of designer things. It just looks really good. It stands alone all by itself. These sneakers look, the cut of them is what I'm looking at. The way, that slope, the way it goes, goes down looking on the monitor, the way it goes down to the toe, it's, it's cut in a way, I think, that probably makes, it looks really flattering on your foot. It makes your foot look smaller than what it is. And for me, I'll take it because I wear UK, UK 8, US 11, Euro 41, sometimes a 42. So I'll take it. That sole, is nice and chunky and just the overall profile of this sneaker looks more than what it is it doesn't look like it's under 100 and it is and i thought i had to bung this one in it reminds me so much of my mcqueen sneakers which i've shown you them before here they are really quickly but it kind of reminds me a little bit of of these just a little bit God, they're really blowing out here but that whole wide kind of sole i feel like you could see that really well in these from mango and also i think they look so much they remind me so much of the prada versions as well which i've seen um, i'll show you those prada ones here that kind of like a not a lug sole but almost like a that serrated vertical line that goes all the way around the sneaker i love that from prada and i just love that oversized wide um, or tall platform that they've got, platform, those look so similar to these, or the other way around, whichever way you want to put it. Worth it, I had to put them in. I thought the, just the cut of these, regardless of, of any other brand, I thought they were really good. They look really cute, and I can easily see these styled with floaty, flowy dresses, and just a clean pair of white sneakers. It's such a, 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 a effortless, city vibe combination i wear that kind of vibe with like my road dress i'll show you on the screen here i love that but you could equally wear that kind of sneaker with something that's like a long flowy maxi dress which i love i love long flowy maxi dresses it works both ways as well as just with a pair of like just throw on shorts so yeah great one to get great price point and i i bet you get a lot of wear out of those i can only pray that this is still available at the time that you see this video. These are my beloved and other stories, angular cat eye glasses, $29, highly worth it. They're on the screen here. One of the colors is already sold out, but the other th three are still available. The black plain, which I have, and the black tortoise. I'm gonna show you right now. Don't go anywhere, because you need to see how good these are. I have them, like I said, in both the black and in the, the brown because they are that good. Look, you see me in these all the time. This is the black one. 
and it's got see that just got like a really sharp kind of line to it those and then I also have the tortoise shell in it as well and these are currently still available and hands down one of the best flattering glasses that I had to show you because they are truly really really flattering to wear they're so nice can you see the tortoise on these yeah there you go just a little bit you can see it they're so good oh my god I can't believe I can't believe that they're still showing in and other stories please if you're looking for like just cool girl glasses these are the best budget that I've ever come across they even have a slight old Celine vibe you know the old Celine glasses the ones that were angular that they don't make anymore I feel like these kind of give off that kind of look as well they're amazing and I bought them both in the store I tried one pair loved them so much that I turned around and got the other pair I think I got the black first and then they thought they looked so good on I got the the brown one as well because they look that good and they really really do and I've been I live in these glasses because they look so good. I have other glasses, but I kind of default back to these ones when I want something that's very simple, doesn't have too many bells and whistles and you know, whatever. Very simple, but they look cool all the time. Really glad I put those in. Let me know if you get any of these things, by the way, because I always like to get some kind of feedback. And if you don't tell me here, because the comments, yeah, I will see it if you tell me here later on, but the video will be like archived. I think you should tell me on Instagram. So make sure if you're not, follow me on Instagram, send me a message, because I see your messages. Or as I see literally as, I think I see nearly every one of your messages when you send me a message. Or you can just tag me on one of my Instagram posts. Like if I post something on my feed, just, just put it under there and just say, hey Karen, I did get those glasses from Under the Store. I love to see stuff like that. Or just tag me in your stories and then I'll restory you so everyone can see them on you. Anyway, I've done that before and I love to do stuff like that. Anyway. I have to say anyway, any more, any more times. All right, so let me just go on to the next one. Okay, and then lastly, I am going to end on this belt. And I'm ending on this belt because it is, it is, I gotta say it's a cheat, it's 108, so kill me. It's not under 100, but it's 108. That's good enough, in my opinion. It looks very reminiscent, this belt, of the Loewe Obi belt. And I got the Obi Loewe and whenever I wear it, I do get people ask me about it and you know, you know, why they love it so much. And I love it, it's very structured. I love that you can wear it front, backwards. I've worn it over a coat. Or I've worn it over blazers before. I'll show you here. I wear it over dresses, you know, so I didn't get it without knowing, okay, how will I really wear this thing beyond just a normal belt or at least as much as a normal belt because it's a statement, right? I've loved it for years, so it's not about the style anymore. It was really about, do I, should I, will I wear it? And I do, I love it to pieces and I can't wait to wear it. Every time I want to wear it, I think, oh God, I can't wait to wear it and start putting it on. Um, it really makes an outfit go from like, oh, that's okay to, Wow, look at your outfit. Wow, you look really good. So Speaking of belts, I need a belt. Don't you have any? No, I need a good leather belt. You don't have? Just that one. Well, I don't have one in this. But anyway, by the way. I thought you had one. You're always looking at the monitor. He's looking at the monitor instead of looking at you guys over okay. there. Okay, hi guys. Anyway, I look good. <laughs> yeah, you look great. Yeah, okay, we'll look out for a belt for you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But point I was trying to make about belts is that I saw this one from Etsy, and Etsy has a bunch of OB structured, really statement wow, which will give your outfits that statement wow look. This one I zeroed in on because I liked it, it was a little bit different, and it has this little skinny buckle belt detail at the front and I thought that was like a nice way to sort of it kind of just it shows at the smallest part of the belt design and the smallest part of the waist because these belts are basically corsets they cinch you in they are doing what they do what Victorian belts used to do that's what they do honestly 
um, they they just cinch you in and they look amazing so good it's so good and whenever I wear this bloody belt again you don't have to get this one I mean, this is not the point of this video it just takes a look from just being oh that's okay to wow what are you wearing it look at it just look what it did to the look what it did to your waist it just goes in your waist like you're wearing it to mine it just goes in and your boobs sit nicely up here or like I said Shall I, shall I turn it around? It's just such a, oh my God, the black with the black of the skirt. And then a little bit peeking out here. I, so good. It's such a good belt. It, I love it, obviously. Wow. Okay, Etsy does have a whole bunch of them. So um, I just thought I would show you at least, <laughs> at least one or of them on the screen. But like I said, there's a whole bunch and I will link to a couple more that I have seen from Etsy and anywhere else that are definitely under 100 just to qualify for this video. But the whole statement belt thing is just, it just takes a piece from being like, I'm gonna turn this skirt around because I don't like the split showing. I think it's too much. I think it looks better if it's just clean like that. It's just like a column of black. I'm just looking at this belt too much but I wanted to just show you that you can create these kind of looks at an inexpensive price point that is my lot I am not going to go on any further I wanted to make this a nice quick and easy cheap and cheerful literally video um, I hope that you got some ideas give this video a thumbs up if you did get some ideas on shopping inexpensively adding some really key pieces to your spring and summer wardrobe that do not cost over a hundred dollars some of the things in this video was under 80, was under $50, was under $20. So I wanted to cater to lots of different price points that's under 100. So <laughs> that is it, I am done. That is my lot. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to get more ideas on like fashion and all kinds of style ideas at different price points. I go thrifting every now and again. So if you like that kind of stuff, we can go design a consignment. I love doing that now all these kind of things I like to throw in. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. You can obviously follow me on Instagram to see more of these kind of ideas that I'm coming up with as far as like taking you with me. If I'm in a shop, I need ideas, I do polls just to see what you think of this. Most of the time I'm shopping by myself and I just need some quick ideas. And what do you think of this? Should I get this or get this? And I just ask you guys quickly on Instagram stories. So it's really fast and easy, but <sighs> that is it. I'm gonna go. Um, I will see you for the next video. Take care, my loves. Bye. Don't forget to tag me. Let me know what you get. Okay. Bye. <laughs>